you guys, I look like utter hell. <laughs> but I just figured I'd come on here real quick and just do a quick video. I'm still here. I'm a hot mess. I currently am fighting allergies again. And like my hair, you know, whatever. It's at this point, stage of whatever. And me and this co-worker was having a conversation talking about my favorite stuff, you know. <laughs> Uh, crossroads, spirituality, uh, making your spiritual path more enriched so, like, everything else doesn't bother you as much, I guess. And, like, she really got me thinking. Like, I was already thinking before, but now I'm really thinking. And I'm just, you know, I thought I was taking things pretty well. Taking everything, you know, day by day. And I'm struggling with some endometriosis symptoms in the past I would say two weeks and I'm not sure why because I've been eating pretty decent and I'm just yeah I'm just all over the place I'm currently trying to get more sales in with my business but right now I only have two products on my shop because there's a ton of reasons for that but you know I'm not opposed to you guys paying through PayPal and me doing whatever you guys need. You know, I'm pretty uh, innovative and creative to come up with, you know, packages or services or products that you guys need so that you can get what you need out of your spirituality and regain that hope again in your life. And, you know, I guess what I'm trying to say is, is a lot is under the way, you know, and I got so many ideas, not enough time, and, you know, I'm supposed to have a three-day weekend, but I don't know if that's going to happen with my current day job, uh, because I'm just so far behind, and some of it is because I literally can't stay grounded for that long. Like, it's so super freaking hard for me to stay grounded that long, and it's kind of hard to tell people that don't understand, uh, that, you know, hey, I don't like staying grounded very long because it makes me sick, like literally sick, and I become unhealthy, and, you know, the addictive part of my personality and obsessive part of my personality comes out, and so it's like, because they'll literally look at you like you're nuts, and like I, you know, might as well check her in, you know, from a client, or from a staff to a client, but I just feel... Like, I'm just a mess right now, guys. I'm, I thought I had my life going pretty decent. Like, oh, I finally got one part of my life figured out. And then you know how life is. It's not fair. It's unpredictable. And it just throws you for a loop again. So I'm just, that's where I'm at, guys. And it's very, very frustrating for me. And I'm trying my hardest to get back to uh, stability and peace of mind and the only time I find that and everyone's going to think I'm nuts but every and the only time I find that is when I'm doing Raven Hope and that's it like that's completely it and when I'm meditating and coming up with ideas and I'm thinking about tarot and I'm thinking about crystals and herbs and roots and um, cause I'm working with roots now. So like when I'm working with that earth element and that, you know, air element of ideas and creativity and the mind and intellect and it's rewarding for me. And then when I'm in this 3D dimension, when I'm not able to balance it, you know, I, I go to the other side of the scale and it becomes very emotional, emotional draining, mentally draining, physically draining. And it's like the other side of my life is depleting me of energy, you know? Once in a while, I have a good day, you know, I'll be pumped after work, and I'll be listening to music, but it's that, again, it's like, I gotta find that, that hook, that spiritual and empathic hook, because if I'm not feeding that, I'm basically 
decaying. And I'm not trying to sound morbid, but that's what it feels like. It feels like literally I'm like energetically dying and it's causing me to physically die. <laughs> and it's just, oh, it's so frustrating because I don't think anyone understands. Like I try to explain it to my husband and he understands to a certain degree because now he's starting to become um, empathic and very intuitive, but I will have to make a part two because I'm here, but that's what it's about, guys. Any blessings?